Hi, welcome to Christmas in July. I'm Jackie Burns Creations and thanks for coming to visit. This is a really fun collab with uh, these all these great ladies. It's Christmas in July collab hosted by Krista's Crafty Life. Check them all out. Project number one. Well, this came from a thrift store just recently and I thought it was way cool and it's made of wood. And I thought, okay, let's Christmas it up. And so I'm putting a little bit of chalk paint on the edges. I've got here is a canvas that I painted with the gray acrylic and my salt wash. I'm gonna make a little snow scene. Oh, I'm not sure where I got this little snowman, but when I found a few Christmas things, I just pulled him out and thought, oh, I could use him. What I did was I just pulled out a few Christmas things here and there and set them in front of me and looked at them and thought, all right, now what am, what am I going to create? I had nothing in mind. Because that's not where my mind's been lately. My mind's been more on lemons and bees. And this little sign, I think I found it at Target last year or the year before. I don't remember that being at Dollar Tree. So look how cute it just looks with a couple of little items and how quick and easy that was. But I decided to make it a little more winter-like. And I added this uh, blanket snow comes in a sack. I think I got it at Walmart. Not sure. I've had it for a few years and it's really gone a long ways. What it is, is it's like a polyester fiber fill, but it has little sparkly things in it. Doesn't overwhelm it, but it just gives it a nice sweet little look. So you can get a little bit of glitter there every once in a while. That was the bag it came in. See, every once in a while you can get a little sparkle out of it. Looks really cute in person. And there it is, all done. Project number two. Now these are little cutouts that I got from my Retro Cafe Art Gallery. She sells all kinds of really kind of cool vintage looking things. Or you could find something like this on the Graphics Fairy been using the graphics spray for years and I just love it but these are a little thicker and uh, I just thought they were adorable I got them last year and used them quite a bit 
But in the little stash I found, is when I'm cleaning up, I just stick things everywhere. I found these little paper mache ornament looking things. I'm not sure where I got them. I may be thrifting. Maybe I picked them up at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Goodness only knows. But I'm sure the big craft stores will have something like this this year. They usually do. It's pretty standard. So I decided I would cover both sides. So I'm cutting out six Santa Claus looking scenes. One left and trying to see where it would fit. And it would fit on one of these, so I'm trying to decide what it would be best with. So I found this cute little one with snowman. And this gnome that looks like Santa. Thought these gnomes were kind of cool. It's interesting how uh, over the years Santa has changed his look. He used to wear long robes that were green or brown. And I think it was early 1900s, Coca-Cola changed Santa to look more like uh, the story. And I'm trying to think of the artist's name that uh, painted the Santa. So that's the one that we relate to now. The big jolly elf, but uh, he wasn't always that big. And sometimes he wasn't always that jolly. Clayton Moore wrote the book Night Before Christmas and uh, like I say, I'm trying to think of who the artist was that uh, created the sand of the way he looks today. And it's interesting, even over my lifetime, how much Santa has changed because uh, they used to always show Santa with a pipe. <clears throat> Nowadays, because we know how bad smoking is, we don't show Santa with a pipe anymore. Okay, this is Mar Mod, uh, excuse me, Mod Podge Sparkle. Discovered this last year when somebody was using it. And I thought, oh, I'll give that a try. And it makes a really nice finish on Christmas ornaments. It's not too sparkly, but just enough. And it's much cleaner than doing glitter. See that little sheen and sparkle it gives? Okay, these are called Dresden strips. And I also got these at Retro Cafe Art. And I will put the name of it down in my, pers my description box. Oh, I can't talk today. And I thought these just made it a little cooler. They're made out of a paper and they're very fine, but they come in these strips, so they're, they're great to use for all kinds of things. I'm sure they've got them other places, but I haven't found them. They come in different colors, gold, white, black, Silver. I'm not sure what other colors it comes in. Okay, project number three. Now this definitely was something that sat in front of me that I looked at. 
it was in my stash in my room, and I thought, oh, no, what can I do with that? I bought the box last year, and I was going to do a scene in it. Never did. We always buy more than we need. But that's good, because then it's on hand. They say I just pulled out stuff and set it in front of me and thought, now what can I do with this? Because I had no idea in mind what I was going to do. And oh, I think just about everything on this came from Dollar Tree. This came from one of the calendars for this year that were so hard to find. Luckily enough, I found all of them. And I've already gotten the ones for next year. So <clears throat> I bought a case of them and I will be doing a giveaway at different times. So I really didn't need to put the Mod Podge in there. It seemed to stay on its own, but I went ahead and put the Mod Podge in. Because if I want to change it up, I can always just do it over the top of here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so congested today. Allergies. Oh, I started playing with different trees I had to see which ones I wanted to put in there. And I decided to punch some holes in the back so I can put some fairy lights in it. But I don't have any fairy lights right now. I'll have to get some next time I go to Dollar Tree. I usually have some somewhere. It was very easy to punch through that thin metal. So I am gluing down the trees. But the gnome I saw sitting on my table and I thought, oh, yeah, he'd be cute. I didn't paint his coat or anything because I thought, oh, he looks kind of cute and bright sitting there contemplating in the forest. But maybe later, I didn't glue him down and I didn't glue the lid down, so maybe later I can go and paint him if I feel like it. Or I can actually, if I run across something else, I could put something else in there. So I did decide to make a bow for the top. And I used some red plaid and gold shimmer ribbon that I had from last year for Dollar Tree. I keep my ribbon all on hand, and so it's very easy to find the ribbon. But like I say, Christmas stuff all packed up and not ready to get it out yet. Favorite thing to do, fluff. So there it is, all finished. And I did put a little gold ball on top of it. Or I could have put jingle bells or whatever. And 
Not sure what I'm doing here. Okay, here's everything all finished. And I think that scene will look really cute with the fairy lights in it. Like I say, if you're stumped on what to make, just pull out a bunch of different items and whether they're Christmas or Halloween or fall or summer, and just put them in front of you and then go from there and decide what you can make with them. I hope I inspire you. I'm here to inspire you. I know you won't always find exactly the same things I'm using, but maybe it will give you an idea of what you can use. And I appreciate each and every one of you coming to visit. So for now, thanks for watching. Bye.